And what does it look like when they get there? If what you say is true and what others say is, is true, and there's many, many people that believe as you believe, I'm sure you know that, what does it look like when they get there? Well, I can tell you, I, I, I was friends with one of the Rockefeller family, okay? And uh, they were very much behind uh, the Federal Reserve System, uh, the banking, the Council on Foreign Relations, and uh, we were very good friends. And uh, he told me that what th they really want to do is have a one world government without borders, First, you have the European Union, the European Constitution, yeah, the EU. which they, which the European people voted down, by the way, but they're doing it anyway. Yeah. Now and they then, want then the North they American currency. Union. Right. Then they have the, the one currency. Now they want to do they the have North the standing army. Yep. But now they want a North American Union. Yeah. They want, and then what they want to do is bring everybody together under one. The Amero is there. The Amero, the currency, yeah, exactly. They didn't know it is there. And so uh, their plan is to have a, a government for the world. Uh, they want to do it through the UN. Right, and have everybody in this earth implanted with an RFID chip. You believe that? I know that. It, 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 then you hear the congressman, the senator, asking the Supreme Court justice how he's going to rule on that. In my clip, you think that you think he asked them for no reason? They're already implanting people with chips. You, the national ID card, which becomes law by May 2008, it's going to have an RFID chip in it. Okay, everything is done in stages. After the RFID chip goes in the card and in your passport, it's going to go into your body. That's what they're going to try and do. There's no question about it. And they're not going to do it through law. They're going to do it because you can't. You won't be able to live without it. All your money is going to be in that ship. I think Waco is my tipping point. When I saw what happened to Waco, I said, I'm going full-fledged. This is disgusting. They killed all those people for no reason. There was no need for those people to die and to be killed in that fight and burned to death. That was the most disgusting event. The war in Iraq, a disgusting event. When I heard Rumsfeld talking about shock and awe, oh, let's everybody go home, watch on television shock and awe, as if it was a Fourth of July fireworks. There are people under that concrete being killed and maimed, children and women and men dying for no reason. For no reason, you know? I had a friend, one of the Rockefellers, he said to me, Aaron, uh, what do you think women's liberation was about? And I said, uh, I think I had conventional thinking. And I said, I think it was about women having equal rights to work with men, equal pay, you know. He said, you know what, Aaron, you're an idiot. And he started to laugh at me. I said, what do you mean? He said, you wonder what that was about? He said, tell me. He said, we, the Rockefeller Foundation, financed that women's lib movement. You want to know why? For two reasons. Half the population wasn't taxable before. And the second reason is, now the kids go to our schools at an early age, and we mold them. There's no more family at home to take care of the kids. The state becomes the family now, Aaron. You get it? And that's how this country is working. It's run by evil. It's run by evil forces. And people in this country better wake up to the truth and save this country from what's happening.